An expression, I guess, that I think about sometimes is this idea of a banal miracle. Really basic, everyday stuff that you'll just miss if you're not paying attention. And so an example of that for me is just drawing. It is absolutely flabbergasting to me that drawing is something that we're even capable of as people. To me, it's like this condensing of like this entire outside world space coming into the body. It's circling through ourselves and then it's just coming out at this like little bottleneck point and something is happening there. Art is now this like space where I get to be connected to natural world. I get to maintain myself as an artist and then in that space, I think that there's this nice way of growing as a person. I don't like to have a plan when I enter. I just kind of walk up to the paper or to the silk and take whatever tool I'm using to draw and start. And there's usually not a predetermined idea of what things are going to look like. But I really enjoy the mystery and sort of just paying attention to the material itself as it's going and trying to figure out the harmony that's there, which is really just a harmony between myself, the work, and just this external space. A line carries sensitivity. If you are feeling a certain way, your line quality is going to reflect that. The silk itself is also in flux in, and in conversation with the atmosphere around it. If it's really dry out, the dye is going to bleed a specific way, um, as opposed to if it's humid, and you're going to get dramatically different results. And so that element, that sensitivity of the material, I think is one of the hugely beautiful things about it. Silk to me is really a really wonderful material to work with for a lot of reasons. One, it's activated by the breath. It has its own sort of presence and reminds us of ourselves. There's that lightness, it's prismatic, it's literally breaking down light in this very mysterious way. In addition to that, silk is associated with this idea of luxury and I like to push against that a little bit. The way that I'm making is not concerned with that in the context of this silk being an expensive material, at least historically. And so I can make things a little dirtier and things messier and uh, apply images to this material that is unexpected. And I think in that space of it being unexpected, it allows people to enter the work in a way that is a little bit less barred by these preconceived ideas of what this material is. Silk is incredible because I can create an entire exhibition and I can roll it up into a single tube and ship it across the country or wherever and it's very affordable to do so. It doesn't require this ex elaborate or expensive framing and in addition to that, I think that there's like this like great sort of like comfort that comes from the material as well where you can wrap yourself in these objects if you wanted to, right? And there's something really, I think, special about that. This piece still has resist on it. It still has excess dye. Um, and so once it's washed, all that will run out and the silk will just be one cohesive solid plane, uh, which is different than like a painting where things are layered. Um, this will all just be one one piece of material together. Art spaces are complicated. Everything is very complicated. And so to come in to those spaces with this earnestness of just trying to create something that does feel, hopefully that it is for whoever happens to be with it is important. And there's a responsibility in also challenging those spaces, I think, in some capacity. Lately, I've been really thinking a lot about how the work creates a space for people to feel um, either consoled or as if they belong. And hearing people talk about the work in that space 
is resonant to how I feel when I'm making the work because I'm really not like riddled with any form of like anxious thinking or worry. I'm just existing in the moment and trying to exist in that moment where I feel like I really am in harmony with something that is bigger than myself. So like in here, because the resist is still wet, you can see how that black kind of bleeds out a little bit. And it brings out a special quality in that line where it's still alive and taking its shape during the entire process of the piece. There's just this deep rooted love for being outside and being connected to the natural world when I think about that, I think about being in the woods in like cold winter of Minnesota at night, like just wind kind of rolling through um, or otherwise very quiet and silent or looking out at the lake at my grandparents' house, those sort of moments, which I think are universal things that I think I'm always trying to search for just in my daily sort of banal regular life. I believe in a practice of coming back to something bigger. For me, that's just nature. And art is like a vehicle for that, where it's not the end goal. I think the end goal is just really that moment of being connected and centered and the challenge within that and the doubt that comes from that and the love that one has to instill around the doubt in that um, and being okay with like this idea of like unknowing and allowing for something sort of mysterious and undescribable that I just really believe in at the end of the day.